happening everyone and welcome back to a brand new Star Wars Outlaws video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you every single customization option 4k in the game. This has taken a really long time to find and collect all of the outfit items 4k but hopefully it's going to pay off and you're going to enjoy seeing what is available for you to use to customize your character in the game. We're going to start off with the outfit pieces and then I'm going to answer some questions I have been asked about the customization. So 4k there is a chest option and there are 27 chests to choose from in Star Wars Outlaws. 14 of these are superior chests, which means you can get extra bonuses for equipping three items of that specific set. 13 of the chest pieces are standard chests, which will still give you individual bonuses, but you get nothing extra when you equip all three pieces of the set. Four superior chests are unlocked by achieving the highest possible reputation with each of the crime syndicates within the game. One superior chest is unlocked for completing the main quests in Star Wars Outlaws. One superior chest is unlocked for completing Jet Cordo's legacy quests. Two standard chests are unlocked for having the ultimate edition of the game. And one of these chests is not part of a set as there are two chests for this specific set. And this is Kay's standard outfit. So at the start of the game, you will have Kay's shirt. And then when you attain the trailblazer, you will unlock Kay's jacket. Next, there is a waist option. And there are 26 waists to choose from in Star Wars Outlaws. Again, 14 of these waists are superior waists. So you will have extra bonuses for equipping every item of the set. 12 of them are standard waists. So you will only have the individual bonuses. You will get no extra bonuses. For equipping all three items in the set. Four superior wastes again are unlocked by achieving a maximum reputation with all of the crime syndicates within the game. One superior waste is unlocked for completing the main quests in the game. One superior waste is also unlocked for completing Jet Cordo's legacy quests and two standard wastes are from the ultimate edition of the game. Then we have the legs. There are 26 legs to choose from in Star Wars Outlaws. 14 of the legs are superior. So again, you have extra bonuses for equipping every item of the set. 12 are standard legs. So give individual bonuses, but you get nothing extra when you equip all three items of the set. Four superior legs are unlocked by achieving the highest possible reputation with each of the crime syndicates in the game. One superior legs is unlocked for completing the main quests in the game. One superior legs is unlocked for completing the Jet Cordo's legacy quests and two standard legs again are from the ultimate edition of the game. So it's all well and good knowing all of the items in Star Wars Outlaws for customization, but how do you actually unlock them? I have obviously covered some ways to unlock items 4K in the game already, but to unlock outfits 4K, you need to find items that are in treasure chests throughout the Star Wars Outlaws planets and orbits. You can also purchase some outfits from vendors for credits or specific materials that you will find throughout the Star Wars Outlaws worlds. As I've mentioned already, you can unlock some of these items by completing quests in the game and achieving the best possible reputation with the crime syndicates in Star Wars Outlaws. Some people have asked about color options since that was a thing in Jedi Survivor. However, there are no color options for outfits in Star Wars Outlaws. Once you unlock a piece of clothing, that's it you have the only color option for that specific piece of clothing. Although there are no color options for outfits in Star Wars Outlaws, Ubisoft have been a bit sort of naughty in my opinion. Some of the clothing items are just renamed and recolored versions of each other. For example, the Agamar Gunslinger shirt is the exact same as the Birake Gunslinger shirt. They are just different colors, which I think is a bit naughty. You've put the same item in the game twice and just changed color and then said it's something else which I don't think is right. Some people have asked about helmets and hairstyles. There are no helmets or hairstyles in Star Wars Outlaws. You can unlock helmets though, but they are only used as trophies on your speeder bike. You cannot wear them. Since collecting all of the outfits 4K in Star Wars Outlaws, I have seen that there is actually another outfit that you're not able to get unless you buy a qualifying NVIDIA graphics card within a certain time period. The Forest Commando character pack is based on Leia from Return of the Jedi on Endor, and you also get an Ewok scarf or bandana for Nyx. This item is not available to anyone else who doesn't buy a qualifying NVIDIA graphics card within the certain time period until 60 days after the game's release. After 60 days of the game's release, the character pack will go into the Star Wars Outlaws in-game store for you to purchase. So it sounds like 
with other Ubisoft games, there is going to be an in-game store for Star Wars Outlaws where you can go ahead and purchase more customization items for real world money. At this moment in time, we don't have any other information about what character packs will be going on the Star Wars Outlaws in-game store, but when we do, I will be sure to update this list of all of the customization outfits for K in Star Wars Outlaws. For me personally, I am a little bit disappointed with the outfit choices for K in Star Wars Outlaws. I'm especially disappointed with how Ubisoft have just taken some of the in-game items and changed the name and the colour of them, or patterns of them, and then rebranded them as something else when it's the same outfit or the same style or exact same jacket in some cases as other items in the game. I think that's a bit lazy, but that is it for today's video. So please do let me know down in the comment section below what you think of Kay's outfit choices in Star Wars Outlaws and the customization in the game. If you have enjoyed this video and found it helpful, make sure to smash a like on it to show support for the game on the channel. And if you've enjoyed the video and you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to be kept up to date with all future Star Wars Outlaws releases. But other than that, we'll see you in the next video.